Forever. And today I'm going to be doing the back side of this that I made on day three. And then I have a four by six and two three by four pockets that I'm gonna be doing for page protectors. And this is a picture of my kitty cat in a box. Um, we actually subscribed to the Cat Lady Kit, our cat, cat Lady Box, and it's a really, really fun box. My daughter is a huge fan of cats, so I thought it'd be fun to have these boxes. We get one about every other month, and they have some really great product in it. Some product for you and some product for your cat. So I thought I would put this in my December Daily. One, because I just absolutely love this tag, and it came on one of the toys that were for one of the cats. So that was really cute and had kind of a December theme or Christmas winter theme. So I thought this would be nice in my kit today or on my um, pages. So I'm thinking about kind of sticking it somewhere around here on the bottom side of this page. And then for this, I'm going to be using one of the cards from the Allie Edwards main kit. I really like the pattern on this and I thought it would be a nice background. And then I want to use this other 3x4 card here that says Joy. So that's kind of my base of my layout this week. Um, I have one more photo that I didn't bring over. This, this is a photo of um, our elf Izzy, and I thought this was a perfect photo because she is dressed as, like a kitty cat today. So it went perfect with the theme. Um, so we got the cat box and Izzy dressed up like a kitty cat and everything. So I thought that would be really fun to do a layout with that today. So I had mentioned this is number four. So I'm gonna be using one of these number four brads from Tim Holtz. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put it. I was thinking about someplace like right there. I thought that'd be kind of neat layered on there. So that's about where I'm at. Um, I was gonna use just the back of this six by eight or sort of six by eight shape, but I didn't really like how it was just white. So I'm gonna be using one of the pieces that came in my Simple Stories album. It's just um, approximately six by eight in size and it just looks like ledger paper. And I thought it'd be nice to have a background like this on this side of the layout. So I was thinking about putting it this way so the holes matched up and then just trimming it um, to fit the card a little bit better. I'm trying to think if I want to do that or if I just want to trim out a piece of the paper instead of using like the whole sheet. Um, so I'm probably going to play with that just a little bit. Um, like I said, I kind of want to have this down here. I want to cut this part off. I don't really need the advertisement or this part of the advertisement. But I do want to have this part where it talks about catnip and then the cat lady box. So I gotta figure out kind of how that's going to work. I also have this spinner. I didn't end up using it yesterday. And I'm trying to decide still if I wanna incorporate this in the album. I may just stick it in as a separate piece that just kinda of hangs out because it's just kinda of cute. Um, or I could kind of tuck it in here some way. Um, I just, like I said, I haven't quite decided. And I really want it to spin and I don't wanna to cover too much of it up. So I may just end up adding this in as just an embellishment that kinda of hangs out in there, like maybe hold onto one of the holes. So I'm going to put this to the side for right now and just kind of work on this part. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is instead of keeping the holes because it, it doesn't, if I put the holes like this, it doesn't line up very well with the corners and they're rounded. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this side off and then slice a little off the bottom just to kind of make it a centerpiece here. I think that might look nice. So I'll do that real quick. Like I said, I'm just going to slice the numbers off and I'm going to slice right before that line. And then probably a little bit off the bottom, not too much, maybe like a half, a quarter inch or so. Let's see what that looks like. That fits in pretty nice. So maybe I'll do it like that. And then the photo can go here with this, kind of in this bottom corner. I feel like this needs some more so I do want to use the cat picture there I think but maybe I can maybe that would be fun too let's go over like that I don't know I might do that instead and then figure out something else to put over here maybe I can just do a simple embellishment um, I have these circles from the main kit but I've did, done something like that recently. Um, these, I have these. That would look pretty cute on there. I have a couple of those left. Um, I actually picked up some, um, an Allie Edwards December Daily kind of um, Project Life kit. They were on clearance at Michael's yesterday or two days ago. And so they came with these die cuts. And I thought maybe I could maybe even incorporate these. I do like this felt heart a lot, but maybe, let's see, the ornaments are cute. 
Oh, the ornaments might look cute. I don't know if this background might be a little bit too busy, but the ornaments might look cute. Kind of hanging like, hanging like that, and then use some string. I don't know, maybe. Oh, these are pretty too. That silver would look nice. Ah, the Christmas trees. I didn't get a chance to look at these yet. These are so cute. Oh, I love the embellishments. I'm so glad I got this kit. I was thinking about not getting it because besides the December daily, I don't necessarily do a lot of Christmas pages like in my regular project life. I skip December and just do my December daily. So I wasn't, I almost didn't get this, but I saw the colors and I thought they would look nice with this Ellie Edwards kit or even next year. Um, and with it being on clearance for like seven bucks, I thought that'd be perfect. Those jars are adorable. I love the jars. This is where I go to a point where do I use it because I love it or do I keep it because I love it? <laughs> That's always the hard part is knowing what to do. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking adorable. You know what I might do? I like the blue with the blue water. My daughter was at the swimming pool. She has swimming lessons this day. I don't know, I might use this, but I put some vellum on this to kind of mute the background, but still keep it because I do like that a lot. Um, let me go get a piece of vellum and see if I like that. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I grabbed a piece of scrap vellum and I don't know, it doesn't, see this is what it looks like without the vellum. And this is what it looks like with the vellum. I think it mutes it just enough. Let me do it this way and see what I like. Well, that might be kind of cool even to do it like a diagonal. Hmm, I might do that. That's kind of fun. Let's see. Which way do I want the diagonal if I did it like that? Oh, this would be kind of cool to make a pocket too. Um, I'm getting ideas. Hmm. I, oh goodness, I can't decide now. Maybe what would be kind of cool is if I sew this, made a pocket, and this could be um, slip in and out, and it could be the journaling. I think I might like that. That's pretty fun. I might be doing that. That is really cute. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Let me get a pencil. That is gonna, I think that might be super cute. And then I can maybe use some, I don't know if I have red thread. I'll have to look at my thread and see if I have a good color that I can use. So if I did it diagonally like this and made a pocket, I wonder if it even looked better if I kind of made the pocket Maybe instead of going diagonal, maybe going more like that. sewed around the pocket here here and here and then now this little card can fit right in oh I really like how that turned out I think it turned out cute all right so now I gotta grab everything back over so I don't know if I'll be able to fit all my journaling journaling on here but that'd be perfect because I can fit the rest of it on this card so now I just need to look at the side and see maybe I can also add a die cut over here just to kind of tie the stuff back in Let's see here. have the Allie Edwards stamp set that I got. It'd be fun maybe to put something on this photo too because it looks a little plain. Oh, looks like I lost my magic somewhere. <laughs> That's funny. My magic's gone. Hmm. That's interesting. Hopefully I can find the magic. I'm not sure where that went. 
Hmm. I'm sure it's stuck to my desk somewhere. Anyway, I won't use magic on this page anyway. Okay, I think what I'm going to settle on is today's details maybe? Yeah, I think today's details, I think that might look right good there. Let me pull that out and see if that's gonna work. Yeah, I actually like that. Um, maybe in a green color? Maybe to match that um, ornament there. Let's see, I gotta find that other stamp that I lost. I wonder where that is, the magic stamp. I'm sure it's stuck to something. Can't, couldn't have gone too far. Now this is the first time I've used this stamp, so I'm gonna prime it a bit or prep it a bit by taking my eraser and just erasing on top of the stamp. And that helps if there's any residue left in the stamp from when it was made, it helps take that residue off and then you get a cleaner image when you stamp. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. Sometimes you don't have to do that, sometimes you do, I don't know. I find that if I do do that, it ends up working better. So that's why I'm gonna do that today. I'm just going to use some baby wipes to wipe off anything that came from that. All right, so I think I want to stamp in green. Um, I think this garden green might look nice. I'm going to try that first and see if I like that. And this is just Stampin' Up ink. And if I like that, I'll stick with it. Let me grab a piece of scrap paper here. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Stamp one more time, see which one I like better. Stamp on this side. I think that one came out just a little bit better. Let's put this away before I stick my hand in it. And we'll just cut this out. With it being a messy circle, you kind of just have to cut it with your scissors. I think a circle punch would kind of take away from the messy kind of idea of it. So I'm just gonna trim this out quickly with my scissors and see what I, if I like this on the page. All right. Yeah, I like that. I feel like I need something a little bit else there. I have some sequins, I think. Let me see if I can find some silver sequins. Might look nice with this. Maybe I can add up some bits of sequins to kind of knit together silver. Maybe I'll just do like that. I think I like that amount. So I think that's kind of how I'm gonna do it. Um, maybe I'll put some, like I said, I'm gonna put journaling here and on the back of this. And then I do have that silver um, thread I did around here. So I think I'm gonna adhere this back piece on and then stitch that with silver um, before I adhere it on because I don't wanna stitch through the, the back piece of this paper. So I'll stitch some silver all the way around the edges of this, maybe like in a two or three messy um, rounds um, and then do that. And then I think what I'll end up doing with the ornaments is I could use a silver thread too, but I think I have enough silver going on. So I think I'm just gonna use this twine here to add the ornaments so they can hang down. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, well, let me come back here in just a minute. I'm gonna start gluing some of this stuff down and get some of my journaling together and do some sewing like I had mentioned and then kind of show you where I'm at here in just a few minutes. I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I have glued down the string, the thread, and my sequins. And then I also did some journaling on this card like I was mentioning and I did some stitching through the uh, Joy Word. I just thought that would tie nicely in with the stitching that I had on this pocket. And then I also did some journaling on the back of the die cut and it just slips right here in the pocket. 
And then I kept this card down here with my daughter in the pool, pretty plain. So I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys the stitching that I did around here as well. Um, so I think that is what I'm going to end up leaving this with. I was contemplating whether I should um, do some um, lines around this card because it does look a little like it's falling off because when I put it on to do the journaling, I put a little bit close to this edge. I think it's okay. Um, I would have liked it a little more in the center, but I think it's ended up turning out okay. Um, so I'm contemplating whether I should do a little bit of stitching or, or drawing around the edge, but I think I'm going to just keep it the way it is. Um, and then go with this as it is. So I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the section below in the comment section. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.